Hey Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading for November. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this month. Okay, really interesting these cards today. I felt feel a little bit, feel a little bit, there we go. They're feeling a little bit stuck. So I'm wondering if you're feeling a little bit, you know, slow as molasses, uh, this uh, Taurian energy here with the eclipse, right? We're, we're just wrapping up that eclipse energy, the full moon, uh, partial lunar eclipse in Taurus happening the 28th, 29th of October, depending on where you're at. Now we're going to pull out three cards for uh, career finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. What I will tell you, Taurus, is that if you are feeling sluggish, if you are feeling like slow, like molasses, or you're feeling like there's this energy of like having to like kind of gently integrate, that is very typical. It's very typical to feel exhausted during eclipse season, okay? That is uh, not something out of the norm. That is not something that is um, unheard of. It's actually a very common thing, okay? Uh, now, November is looking to be a very, very interesting month for you. There's these really high highs, and then there's these moments that I won't call low. I'm going to call them self-sabotaging, okay? Let me grab more, am uh, more amulets. Let me grab more cards for you, and uh, we'll dive in. It's interesting, too, that you got Venus as the amulet, and then you got the Empress, which is represented by Venus, which is connected to you, okay? Because I do feel like your you're, you know, you've wrapped up a cycle here in your life, okay? This this uh, eclipse season or eclipse energy, the full moon in Taurus, uh, was a wrapping up of a cycle, a cycle that um, has taken the last two years to really work through. I think a lot of you have really realized and recognized where you were playing small or where you were letting other people impact you, affect you, or really block your own growth, your own abundance. And now in November, this is the where the work begins, right? Because here you are like ready to go, but then you're like, whoa, well, why am I exhausted? Well, babe, if you've been, like your body only has a certain amount of energy. And if you've been in this fight or flight response for so long, right? If you've been in the self-preservation mechanism for so long, your body needs a little bit of rest, right? So this isn't to say don't do any work or slack off. This is to say to honor your vessel in these moments of the lows or these moments of the lulls because the inaction will help lead you to action. You get what I'm saying? When you practice stillness, you're able to observe and see, and then you're able to move forward. Career and finances is looking absolutely fantastic for you for the month of November. Even though I will say you're going to be hustling, you're going to be working, you may be working extra hours, overtime, burning the midnight oil, all the things. Uh, nonetheless, this is like very good, very nice, very beautiful. You know, it's a really good energy here with this Empress card showing up. A lot of abundance, a lot of harvest, a lot of things that you've worked really hard for finally coming to fruition with the 10 of wands and the eight of pentacles, you're finally going to be able to put some of the burdens down, some of the weight, some of the heaviness, some of the difficulties, because what's really happening here is the hard work that you've put in will reap massive instant rewards. Okay. And that is just a, just a juicy, in my opinion, with earnest here showing up, we've got, um, this energy of like, I don't want to call it bad chaos, but like chaos, you know, it's like, boom, some stuff happens. Boom, here is this thing transpiring. Boom, here is this other thing transpiring. Earnest comes in to usher in change. It's very humanitarian, revolutionary in nature, and it's very exciting at the same time. So you do have a lot of really cool things, I think, to look forward to and a lot of surprises or unexpected um, opportunities showing up at your door that will lead you to a lot of success and a lot of financial abundance. Now, the next thing we have here is this adversity, which I think you've been facing for the past two years. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. I'm not going to say that, you know, November is going to be adversity free. I think November is going to have a little bit of adversity, but this adversity is meant to teach you to use all the tools from the past, all the things that you've learned over the past two years and apply them now as you move forward. Now, you've got the King of Swords and the Fool, so I do see this energy of moving forward, this energy of you know, logic, rationale, okay, uh, taking a leap of faith and being really excited for the future. Where I will say for you to pay attention to 
is this eight of swords. Don't allow your mind to block you. Don't allow, allow the negative self, uh, negative self talk or the limiting beliefs or the narratives in your mind to, um, keep you limited, right? Because this is mental entrapment. You are not blocked by your mind. You got to shift that energy. Okay. And if you have been wanting to shift this energy, I'm going to teach you something that I teach my clients, my students, and my private members community called Sanctum. You can join us there as well. All right. The membership is in the description box below. It's a monthly fee. We meet twice a month live and interactive. So you can ask me any questions during those two lives. There's cosmic rituals. There's all the sorts of stuff there. When my, when my clients, when my students, when my community members come to me and they're like, you know, I'm, I'm blocked in my mind. I'm, you know, limited in my mindset. I always remind them to master the mindset, right? You are in control of your mind. Your mind are thoughts that are percolating all the time, but these thoughts are not a reality. Do you get what I'm saying? For example, if I turned around and said to myself, oh, I'm feeling like I'm really ugly right now, that's not necessarily a reality. That is a thought, a thought that is associated to an experience I have, an external belief system, somebody else's faulty belief system that I have adopted on my own. And in my private community, Sanctum, I teach you all, I teach my students, if you wanna join, I teach you how to get out of that and really reclaim your power and learn how to rewire your mind so that it could be your best friend so that you could actually align with that which you desire. Now, before we move on to your love reading, let me read you this card here and uh, talk about your amulet. You got the golden children, inner temple, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Again, there's this energy here of you showing up in the spotlight, okay? There's this energy here of a lot of success. You have these rare gifts to make all these beautiful things happen, Taurus. So why wouldn't you take advantage to show up in this beautiful energy that belongs to you that is your birthright? And it's Venetian in nature, okay? Now, you got Venus as your amulet. If you've been wanting to attract love, romantic partner, um, romance into your life, you're going to want to wear Venus. Venus is all about abundance. It's all about your values. It's all about security. It's all about safety. And it's all about sensuality and love, all right? And the fact that you got Empress and Venus, there's a little something, something about you this week or this month, I should say, um, that's going to be bringing in a lot of opportunities in a very Venetian way. Now, let's dive into your love reading. If you want to book a session, join Sanctum, Amulet, all that stuff, my uh, my free newsletter, it's all in the description box below, okay? Let's go in here and see. We got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, unrequited love, and children. You've got death, nine of swords, and the lovers here. So I'm not surprised that we got this forgiving and learning, this unrequited love, and and this children card here. Let me pull out some more cards as well. I think one of the big things that you're learning this week is really how powerful and big and attractive your energy is, Taurus. And yeah, forgiving learning 10 of pentacles and how you do not need to settle for less in order to feel valuable or worthy. There are a lot of lessons here in regards to you know, how you talk about yourself, how you feel about yourself and how your mindset emits an energy out into this world to the type of romantic partners that you attract. Five of Swords, Unrequited Love. Yeah, I just feel like this person, honestly, I just feel like this person isn't good enough for you. And The Fool, again, children, you got The Fool twice. There are a lot of really beautiful new beginnings happening for you this week. The Fool and children here. Death, Nine of Swords and The Lovers. This is a choice you have to make. You know, The Lovers card is about choices. It's the, the lover's card is also said to be about understanding how to make the mature choice in situations. And I think this month there's a, there's this part of you that's really maturing after that full moon, right? Where you're really recognizing and going, okay, like what's my value? What's my ver worth? What do I want to attract? And how am I going to talk about myself mentally so that I align with that, which I desire. Okay. Really powerful month for you. All right. And if you want to book a session with me, join my community, all that jazz in the description box below, ditto to pick up your amulet. I'm going to pop this video here to help you understand your worth and uh that's your reading for this month thank you so much for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes we will see you later alligator peace out bye